So we're going into a concrete pool demo. This is where we get the little heavier equipment going. Don't let anybody know what our secret weapon is. Yes, a four foot boulder. We use this excavator, four foot boulder. This is our path coming in and out. Okay, we gotta pump this out. Dang, nabbit. That's the well house. So this is the pool we're gonna demo. We're gonna take out, where's that birdhouse? That birdhouse stays. Okay, we gotta pump this pool out. Take out the retaining wall. Take out the well house. The well house will be on time and material. The pool is a lump sum bid. This concrete's a lump sum bid. Uh, this diving board comes out. Electrical's been disconnected. Yeah, this is the right way to do it. We actually got it lined up. So his path in and out will be back and forth through here. So this is the before. We'll do a during, then an after. Yep. Great, so we're back at the site. Drew has successfully removed the concrete swimming pool. One of the things I want to talk to you about is one of the insider tricks that we use to remove a concrete swimming pool. What you're gonna see behind us, come this way. What you're gonna see behind us is the excavator, the thumb, and you see a big giant boulder right in the bottom of that swimming pool. Let's see if we can see that better. You can yeah. see that boulder down there? Monster. So this is how we do this. When Drew came into this site, a lot of people would mistakenly think when you're gonna demo a concrete swimming pool, you're gonna use a jackhammer. And you're gonna put that at the end of the skid loader, and you're gonna put that on the end of the, uh, the boom of the excavator, and you're gonna go inefficient. This is what you wanna use. You use this boulder, and what you literally do is you pick it up and you drop it. And when you drop it, you create an instant spider web effect. And you do that on the very bottom of the swimming pool and that loosens it up and it allows you to rake the concrete out. When you rake the concrete out, you now have four freestanding walls. You go into the center of the freestanding concrete wall, you fold it down. You pick the boulder up, you drop it on that folded wall and it instantly spider webs that and releases the concrete from the rebar. Then you rake that concrete out you switch sides and you fold down the other side and you drop the boulder. We're talking about being able to demo a concrete swimming pool in a third or even a fourth of the time if you were using a jackhammer. And you can see how clean it leaves the concrete bottom. We've still got everything that we've got to haul out in the background, but the entire bottom of the pool was removed in, what did it take you, two days? Three Drew? days. Two, three days at the most, right? With rain, yeah. Yeah, because we had rain, but it doesn't make a difference. He got the, all the concrete out, which for most companies is the most difficult part, getting the concrete loose because I want you to think of this. If you're going into demo any type of a, a concrete structure that has rebar that's reinforced, you're going to have a challenge. We've used the jackhammer. We have a dedicated jackhammer, and we didn't bring it out on this job site because of this setup. It may look a little archaic but it's efficient. Efficiency is the way you need to go, especially when I want, you to, I want you to look at the house in the background too. That's another thing about these concrete jackhammers. Every time they go that whole house rattles. Every time it goes the dishes on the walls shake. Now when you pick up that boulder and you drop it, it goes it's almost it's like a silent but deadly fart, believe it or not. There's no other way of putting it because it just goes poof and it dissipates, it's gone, and it's an instant effect, and it's a one and you're done. You drop it here, you drop it there, and then you're just raking, you're just literally raking. You're not constantly pounding, you're not jarring the foundation of the house, you're saving wear and tear on your equipment, you're removing your concrete structures that much faster. So now all we've gotta do is we've got everything broken up, it's a matter of hauling it out. All right, we're back here, a couple days later, the excavator's gone, the grades have been set, Everything on this project has been tipped so that it drains out and to the street. This site is ready for the customer to come in and do their own seating.
sodding or hydro seeding, whatever their choice is. They've got some plans that they want to do, so we've left it ready to go for them. They're not quite done with this project. Part of this is they're doing an addition on the back side of their house, so the swimming pool had to come out. But as far as this job is concerned, the concrete pool is removed and it is wrapped up.